Welcome to my Alithea 323 channel. This is Hermes, your host, your Frenchy host from Rimouski. And Alithea 333, it's the channel of the luminous people. Luminous like you and me. And my fridge is making noises. Blop, 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 blop. <coughs> Or is it the creature from the swamp? <laughs> I'm in the swamp tonight. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's supposed to be a more serious video, a more intimate a video from the heart, a video where I dedicate that video, of course, to my mom, to my mother. Who my mother who all, always have watched over me. She still watch over me in another way. She is my star. She's a star. My father too, but tonight it's about my mom. Um, so like I said, yes, in French, and the French version. My mom has I've always been there. You know, a mo mother is very important. I know it's, it, it's a balance. A child need a mom and a dad. You need the masculine and the feminine. You need the softness of a mom. Uh, a mom who's taking care of, of him or he or she. So, so, so yes, and the father is more, a father was, well, more masculine, more firm, more, I know it's more, in a way, aggressive. He likes sport, uh, fishing, stuff like that. So I've learned all that from both of them. My mother was creative, like me. By the way, it was uh, my uh, adoptive uh, parent. Uh, but it, they were the greatest. Um, and I, I'm so glad to have to have had them on my path. They were important in my life. They played an important role in my life. My mother helped me to be who I am now. Because, well, first she learned me how to walk, then to talk, and then to write, to read, to sing, she, she let me, she just let me be who I am, let me be creative, being an artist, being, being uh, an actor, being, uh, putting disguise, I was putting disguise and making characters, uh, I was drawing, I was doing, uh, how do you say, like wash, it's like painting, but I've always been creative and I had the mother who helped me to, how do you say, to develop myself, to, to be who I am. So thank mom, thank you mom. Um, and of course, like this little, you know, I don't know how to say a values in English. You know the kids, when you are a kid, a young kid and you are afraid in the dark, you're making nightmares at night. You need a little light just to reassure you to be less scared of the dark. So my a mother is like that. It's like it's like a little light in the in the dark in the night, and she's watching over you. And my mother was, was watching over me when I was a, a kid because I remember I made very scary uh, nightmares and. I'm not sure if it was dream or if it was real. It was so real and I was seeing very weird people, you know, like at the end of my bed, in front of me, in front of my bed, standing in front of me, in front of the bed. And I was like, ah, screaming and my and mom was always there to come and, how do you say, comfort me. It's a special bond, it's a special relationship. A father is something else, but yeah, my father was too busy selling cars. He was a car salesman. 
He was popular <laughs> in my little town, in Lac Saint Jean. He was he was like a star, the star of the of my town. Everybody knew him. He, he sold car to almost everybody <laughs> in my in my little town, hometown, when I was a kid. So, um, so yeah, my my father liked to perform. He was he was a funny guy. So who do you think I, I got it? I got m my way of being because a kid, a child, always imitate his parents. So, so yes, and and my mother was were the one with with you know great taste, fashion. T uh, she loved fashion. She loved you know taking care of herself, being being presentable, pretty. Um, <coughs> And she she raised me like as a, like a prince, like I always told you. So, so that's I have that side. I have the side of my father too, more like you know, more kind of macho or more brute, like a brute. So it's the balance. So yes, night and day, masculine, feminine. We need that. That's what we need. We need mud that model when we were we were our kid so yes it's a nice heritage I have a nice heritage from my parents and they gave me especially my mom because yes this video is dedicated to my mom especially gave me the taste the she gave me the love of nature she was gardening uh, and I, lo I love watching her gardening there was flowers and in our yard there was it was smelling good i was watching everything grow so that passion for nature i know i got it from my mom there was plant everywhere in the house so i have it too so that's why i'm so grateful i'm so grateful for the parents i have yeah they were not there for nothing there was it was a for a purpose so yes, my father, yes, was more severe, but he gave me, <clears throat> how do you say, good lesson too. He was giving, he had good, um, how do you say in English, Diban, uh, oh, I'm looking for my words again, uh, values, he had good values, but no, daddy, I won't forget you, I'll talk to, about you later. On the next, probably the next video, and uh, I'm, I'm working on that. So yes, yes, the moonlight the sonata. Mm. It's a sad. It's a very sad music. Sad music. Um, but for me, it's an homage to my mom because she made me learn. Yeah, she let me be. So she, and she. She paid for for cla uh, piano lesson, and I know I remember I used to play Beethoven. I think I was playing that 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 too. I always loved that sonata, that Moonlight Sonata. So, uh, and there was no coincidence. The day I was, you know, a friend was about to pick me up uh, in my apartment, but I was just coming out of the shower, and I was a radio was playing. It was a, a radio on the internet, and that that music was playing Moonlight Sonata so I was really like uh, do you say it was a moving time it was moving it moved me and uh, it was no coincidence I think it's my mother from where she is I don't know which, which dimension where she is now but yes you are there you are shining you are my stars mom and dad so uh, I'm saluting you you're always there, you are in my dreams also, I keep dreaming about you. So we still have the connection. Even if me, I'm still in this 3D, 3 dimension, I'm still in my body. You must be proud of me, but I'm proud of you. I've came, I've came a long way, but all that, the, the nice thing you taught me, the love of the nature, the plant, I, I have it. And yeah, my father well, loved also camping. We had a, cot a cottage, but it was very like it was in the wood. It was more like a cabin. 
not a cottage. No luxury. It was not luxury. Uh, I, I knew when I was a kid, you know, living without electricity, living like in the 19th century, <laughs> living more like a normally living with nature. So now I find it back here. Because in this small town, I'm surrounded by nature. I have nature at my feet. I just go out, out of my building and there you go. So, yes, I'm grateful. I'm grateful for the life I have, for the parents I've had. And I know they are still there. It's precious. It's precious to cherish Cherish the moment you have, if you have, still have your parents. If you have kids, cherish the moment with them. Show them good values. Show them what life is really is, how the life is. is. Uh, I had that chance. I'm, ver I'm very glad. So anyway, my friends, take care of yourself and your loved one, especially, like I always say. Just live, love, share, give without expecting anything in return. And you believe me, you have no ideas what you're gonna get back in return. Just love, because they, they don't know what love is, because they're not the same. They're not the same race as us. They don't know, and they will never know. So keep on loving. That's all we have to do. Take care of yourself. And yeah, stay tuned for more. <laughs>